I think the Dollar Tree situation is getting out of control because last night I had a dream that I walked into the store and there was a hot man in the uh, bench tool aisle and I passed by him and noticed that he's grabbing for a pack of electrical tape and I stop and I say no, like that one has only two things of electrical tape get this pack right here you get three to this pack for a dollar 25 and then i look at him and i proceed to say do better and then i walk off pushing my buggy and he follows me and he goes well where are you going and i was just like i looked at him like he lost his damn mind and i looked him straight in the eye and i said to the jot aisle as if he should already know that so then I go there and I look back and he's still there with me. I said, what, what are you doing? And he goes, well, we're married now. And I said, um, not with the way you pick electrical tape or not. And that was the end of the dream or nightmare. I, I still am not quite sure. <laughs> Now that you have that bit of information um i'll show you guys what i picked up at dollar tree actually let me show you this first item even though i've held it before but i'm probably the most excited about this one um which is this this is like like a plastic pet placemat i just desperately need one of these loki is the slobberiest dog there is like you should see my walls I clean walls now. I've never had to do that with Lolly or Loxy. They're the same breed, but Loki, he slobber flies. 10 feet up, just absolutely everywhere. The point though is, is that where his food bowl is, um, because he is such a tall dog, it's actually not very good for them to be to have their throat kind of pointed down while they're eating so you want to like raise their bowl i know a lot of you already know this but you raise their bowl so their head's kind of like aligned and so because of that because loki's bowl is raised so high stuff can just like fall to the ground a lot easier so um right now i actually have some kitchen like towels um underneath so I just got this to put there and I like that it's plastic because I can just clean it. Um, then I picked up this item, which this is brand new and I'm, I'm still trying to process the fact that this showed up at Dollar Tree. So I had to share, share with you guys that this is new. This is a wood frame with tin board. So just to show you guys the label, it is Crafter Square. I don't know that, is tin just automatically magnetic though? You can see that it's pretty messed up and all the ones that I did go through had some type of marking. So just make sure you go through yours, try to see if you can't find one that's nice. That's the one thing about Dollar Tree. I hope that they improve their shipping quality because a lot of things just get so messed messed up in transit then dollar tree put out their super cute yard stakes and these are the new ones for the year they are really cute but I'll, i have to say that they're not my favorite they're not the best that i think dollar tree has ever put out in my opinion but they are cute and they are new you can see they are yard stakes um, but you can also deconstruct this and turn this into something else other than yard decor it's really easy to pluck off the back of these from like like boom you know and then you can turn this into an ornament on your tree if you wanted to um, or just like redo it into some type of like table decor wall decor just anything I mean like just this is a bad example but like you know what i mean like you could just put it into a picture frame and make it look really cute that way and kind of like a 3d-ish effect so those are new and then i have one bag to share with you today and it's this one with the candy cane lane i really love that dollar tree added the lane to it i think that's really cute i don't think it's new I feel pretty positive I hauled it last year. I know there was some type of candy cane bag last year, um, but I don't know that this one's new. 
but it doesn't matter it's a great bag i would definitely put that on your shopping list but these are definitely brand new you guys and they are giving us the little buffalo check moment and that is so cute so we've got the red and black i do think these are really great for just tabletop decor they're gonna be great too i think in a gift basket like if you did like a white and black buffalo check moment and maybe did like you know some type of kitchen gift with a hand towel or a kitchen towel like mugs that kind of thing and do like play off of this plaid pattern that would be really cute you could even just add a pretty bow at the top and elevate this and that's gonna look great plus it's also a pretty pretty good size depending on what your size tier tray is like these could probably fit if you were to do a charcuterie board and you could put it in the center of your sh your charcuterie board and like you know put your food around it these little like pack of ornaments so it's like they just they just didn't remove it for you so you just have to take the time to punch out the little um the little things that they punch through i guess so like there's a little snowflake in here it's so like look how cute that is and then and they can keep these little pieces too to craft with and then you're left with this which is really cute great for like the kids crafting and all that also for junk journaling that are so adorable the little winter boots are back and they are so stinking cute now my favorite thing to do with dollar tree ornaments like how is this a dollar 25 they even finished them at the bottom oh um i love using them as present toppers gift tags like when you wrap presents like that kind of thing i think these would be so cute for that um so i just love ornaments for those things like look how pretty these are these have a more like classic christmas look to it and i found it in several shapes i think yeah i guess it was just these two which i wish you guys could really see this in person because it's it's pretty dang gorgeous like what and i feel like these are definitely new i don't remember them from last year and they just have like a very vintage look to them too which is kind of surprising me like it's almost making me wonder if dollar tree's l actual intention was to do vintage inspired so that's really interesting to me and then i found these little ornaments now they are probably like one of the more cheaper looking ones that just look like dollar tree but they're still really cute and i also got these as present like tags toppers they are just so cute for that i probably got several yeah i got several of these they also have them in like the shiny and then like the glittery and then i think that they also have these in a silver color but i do always prefer gold over silver so i got those and then they have the little skates with that same buffalo check and let me tell you i'm not hauling absolutely everything but the ornaments this year are insane like there's just so many in this red buffalo check and the white and black buffalo check and these little the detail on the skates this year i think definitely has been updated like they added stitching all the way around this boot laced it up tied it added some bells they gave us some faux sherpa and then the holly at the top with the skate the detail on this like if if i were to compare this to what dollar tree put out in like 2013 no comparison these just look so elevated and so nice these ornaments which i thought were really pretty too i don't know if i've ever seen them do these so i think these in particular are brand new some red ribbon i just got this for some junk journaling these alphabet beads also for junk journaling um this surprised me can somebody jog my memory but <sighs> scented sticks the kind that like walmart sells all the stores sell but i just don't remember if like this is dollar tree's first time doing this or not they might have done it last year 
Wow. It kind of smells like pine sol. But Christmassy. There's a there's a pine sol pine tree smell to this. Here are the other felt options. We have a snowman and a Christmas tree. These are so cute. They also have like their own little punch outs in there as well. So you're gonna get the punch out of the snowman's face and his little buttons. And then the tree kind of has like these punch outs where it looks like lights are streaming on it. Um, but super cute. You gotta be watching out for the updates from Yardley London because these are sold at Dollar Tree all the time and they'll sometimes give us scents for holidays and seasons. And they put out the limited edition cinnamon swirl. So it definitely has that fall kind of winter. For fall, I thought they did like a pumpkin-y type one and this one seems more winter to me, but you know, whatever resonates for you. And then this is pretty random, but I found this new beauty product and I've been really interested to try this, but it is a Brazilian mango daily moisture hair body and scalp oil has natural oils and botanical extract formula. It's paraben free, mineral oil free, phthalate free, sulfate free, petroleum free, which that's very interesting to me. First of all, we have a brand new tea light at Dollar Tree with this gorgeous Christmas tree. It just, it's giving me bed bath, or not, I mean bath and body works. Like for some reason I look at this and it looks like, you know, the Bath and Body Works like little plugins, but we're getting it for $1.25. Obviously it's not a plugin, but you know what? You could probably DIY that some way somehow with an actual plugin from Dollar Tree and just put this light on a plugin. Um, but it's a cute little tea light and it's darling. Micah loves tea lights. Like it's like her thing. Um, it's like her ambiance thing. She just kind of keeps it simple. This would be really cute for her, you know, being in her 20s and maybe doing a little bit of Christmas decorating. These would be cute. They're going to be great in a gift basket, all those things. And to your tray. So love those. Then they put out these little trees, which tells me that Dollar Tree truly knows what's up. I don't know how they know. I'm not saying they can't know, but I'm just like, what? They put out these little modern trees in this monochromatic color. And this is what's trendy, just like everything being one solid color. Not exactly my style right now, but I do love this look and they're perfect size for a tear tray. I mean, that's where I would put them. Or if you have some type of like village setup, those are gonna be great. Um, or if you do like a whole set up in your entryway or something with like a bunch of trees. I've seen people do that for their entryway and it looks really pretty. Those would be a great addition maybe to that. And they also have it in gold. And each tree is like this, has the same embossing basically. So super pretty. I And if you think that's shocking, just you wait we're not done we're not done quite yet then i found these and they didn't give us white and black they gave us green and black and i'm so excited for that i think it was the perfect color choice it would be nice to have the white and black maybe the white and black is available but i only found these two and they are absolutely fantastic. This is something that I would buy at Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx or Home Goods for like $8.99 a piece, if not more. You know what I mean? Like $12.99. Like, I can't believe this is at Dollar Tree for $1.25. I lost my mind when I saw those there. Okay, now I'm gonna get into some more cards. You guys know I love the Dollar Tree cards. So let me show you what I picked up. This was in the birthday section. I'm gonna cut out and just use the little ballerina mice. I think they are so freaking cute and I wanna journal with them. So I got those. And then if you watched my haul from the other day, I said I was gonna go back and get another one. So I did, but I decided that I would get a third. 
because I know I'm going to use one. You're going to see one this Friday in a YouTube live with me when I craft in my journal. You're going to see me use one. The other one's going to be for Valentine's Day because I think it has a cute Valentine's Day look to it. And then I decided to get a third one just in case like I needed it for something else. I, I don't know what. So it's kind of like, like my little backup. Um, you can see this is for the birthday girl. Um, I can always cut that out for Valentine's Day. So I'm not worried about that. So I got that. And then I picked up this cute little Christmas card. It says daughter and all of this stuff here but I am planning on cutting around it and just using the deer. I thought the deer was beautiful and I love the color combinations. I've been very interested in this like red, pink and blue thing with like a splash of green. Like, do you see this color combination? Like so vintage. So I'm gonna journal with that. And then I found another card questionable dollar tree labels and this funny a virgin birth i can believe but finding three wise men come on christmas a time for believing okay this one's actually kind of funny <laughs> is she far off I don't know. And we're going to end today's haul with a Dollar Tree DIY. It is so cute. I don't know why I've never thought to do something like this before. I've actually hauled these cute little birdhouses and I did a DIY for spring. I absolutely loved it. But recently, about a week ago, I was at Dollar Tree, saw the little birdhouses again, and I was like, you turn them around and you can transform them into little gingerbread houses. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I did it. It's super simple. Here are just three that I've made. I've made a total of five and it was so incredibly easy to do. Very, very fun and it looks darling and it, there's just a feeling to like crafting your own things for Christmas time. I don't know, it's just very nostalgic I guess for I think a lot of us and yeah so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Dollar Tree pick up a couple of the birdhouses take note that some of the roofs do have like a different look to them so that's really cute so you want to like mix them up then you want to go buy yourself some brown paint I would highly suggest paint from Hobby Lobby um, when you hit it up with the sale when it's 50% off the paint actually ends up being cheaper than Dollar Tree and the quality is just good like I used one coat for this um, so I would definitely do that. I will um, add the color that I used here specifically if you want to just pick up that color in particular. So once you get your houses painted, um, I went ahead and painted mine all the way around. And if you actually want them to look like gingerbread bird houses, that would actually be really cute as well. But I didn't decide to do any gingerbread stuff on the side with the holes for the birds in them. Um, because I just wanted them to look like gingerbread houses, not bird houses. So I'm just gonna, you know, turn them around um, and put them on a tear tray so you won't actually see the bird house side to it. Um, but that's it. And then you're gonna get some puffy paint and that's when you're going to just, you know, give it that gingerbread look. And you just make whatever designs that you want. You add your windows and your doors and all you know all the little bits that look like icing you can even get puffy paint that has all the colors not just red and green but whatever colors actually that fits into your color palette like this is the time where you can really get creative um and match you know these little houses to your personal aesthetic i want to just keep them looking like an actual gingerbread house so like you would think that you could pick up and just like take a bite out of um, so I just kind of kept it pretty classic with the brown and the white. If you wanted to, you could also turn these into ornaments, easily turn these into ornaments, add cute little bows to them, um, or just like make them for your friends and whoever that you think would like them. So that's it. Then I'm going to style them in the tear tray. You're going to see that here where... Um, I'm also going to include some of these Dollar Tree like bottle brush trees and it just turns out so gorgeous and simple. 
Um, if you love a tear tray with a lot of things in it, you can just keep adding more and more into it. Um, I'm just giving you guys a clean classic look. Um, but that is it. So go and get yourself some cute little bird houses, turn them into some gingerbread um, houses instead. And that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try this um, DIY for yourself. And I will see you guys next time.